So good morning YouTube. Um, I'm going to jump right in today because um, we're going to have a little makeup fun. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. And I picked up the color Coco. I'm hoping that this will work. Um, so for under my eye, I picked up the Golden Tan. And for all over setting, I picked up the Dark Cafe. So hopefully these two will work today as far as powders. Um, I do have two of the concealers. Um, I have, uh, what color did I get? Okay, I got a uh, medium deep tan and I had this one already. I think this is the medium peach, which I think I'm gonna use this as a corrector underneath the eye and then use this as a highlight. I hope that works, we'll see. And you guys already know, I already had the two Photo focus. Uh, no, these are just the highlighter, the Mega Glow highlighters. I really love these. And I don't know if I've ever shown on camera this uh, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. I'm going to use that today as well. You guys already know I love the uh, Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I use this almost every day. I'm almost out, I think. And I'm going to end it with the Wet n Wild Liquid Mega, Mega, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. Um, this is in the shade uh, Nudist Peach. And I'm probably going to top it with um, their Color Icon Lip Gloss. Because uh, this, I think, is a little too bright. I think this was more like a summer shade. But I'm going to wear it today just to, you know, kind of keep everything wet and wildish. But the, fo the focus of today's video really is for me to try the um, Photo Focus Foundation. And this is the one where they've tested it under um, seven different lights. Um, and you should be able to take it uh, great photos with no flashback. Because sometimes, depending on how you do your makeup, you can't get a flashback in your found with your foundation and powder. So since I do have the pressed powder, um, I'm just going to use both of those today. So you will see me use that on camera. All right. Um, I will be back and my eyes will be on because I don't have any of the... Um, eyeshadows from Wet n Wild. I should have picked up a little palette, but I didn't. I don't know. I just was not thinking. But anyway, I think I got enough here to play with and um, give you guys a good... It's going to be a wear test because I am going to have this on most of the day. I'm going to head to work and then, you know, run my errands. So, I, I really do like... I, I tried this as a corrector um, because it was a little too light. Um, excuse me, y'all. My sinuses are kind of like on fleek this morning. But yeah, um, I'm curious to see um, how this color will work today, um, the medium deep tan. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. So my eyes are on. Um, um, I just used the Sweet Peach palette today. Um, but yeah, I'm just color correcting before, and I, I'm doing the uh, before I put the foundation on because this is what I would normally do, and I actually used my regular stuff that I used to prime my face with uh, my. Benefits the Pore Professional Matte Rescue because I feel like I'm going to need that tonight. I don't know about this foundation. I, I know it dries matte, but I don't know what, and I'm sure I don't know anything else about it other than that. I don't think it controls oils and does all of that good stuff. So, yeah, I, I'm going in with a good primer today and I use my Tarte to fill in my pores because, you know, they're kind of, kind of huge. So, yeah, and then I'm just going to use my Anastasia. This color right here is called, I can't get it out. I think this is cinnamon. No, this is coral. I'm using the coral color out of that palette to kind of um, correct before I go in with foundation and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, it has a little spatula on it. Um, and I've heard that it dries really quick, so I'm only gonna do one side. Um, it's a little runny. It's okay. And I'm going to use my beauty blender. I was going to use my brush, but kind of want to see what this does. Um, it actually has really pretty good coverage. Hmm. 
Okay. The um, color, it seems like I'm, it's light on the thing, but it's actually not that bad as far as the color match. And I'm in cocoa, by the way. I did hear that this does oxidize. So that's why I got this shade. I was scared to get the other shades because they looked a little too red for me. Um, so this doesn't feel heavy at all. So that's a good, another good thing. And... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to finish blending this in, and then uh, I'll be back to let you guys see what the concealers look like. And I'll give you some thoughts towards the end, too. Okay, I blended the, uh, the foundation in. Um, not that bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to see. I kind of like it. Keep, um, bring it down a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to use the Photo Focus Concealer, and this is the Medium Deep Tan. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little light, but, hmm. Uh, kind of, kind of thick, okay. Let me get this on and I'll come back and show you how it blends out. I added a little bit of the peach one. Just straight on top of the, the tan one. I'm sorry, I had my head down. I'm trying to... Not bad. It's a little bit thicker. Um, concealer is not as creamy as what I'm used to, but uh, actually, it's really not that bad. And it's not taking a long time to blend out. My beauty blender is damp, but it's just helping to shear it out a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use the golden tan for underneath my eye because it is a little light, but I'm just going to take a little bit. Let's see if I can get enough on here and go ahead and sit underneath my eye. Now, that's pretty. Uh, I wasn't necessarily going to cream contour today, but because everything's looking a little light to me, I may just put a little bit down just to bring some um, color back to my face. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to cream contour. To set out over, I'm going to go in with Dark Cafe. And normally I would pick up my... I'm going to see how it does on the bottom of my beauty blender. Because that's how I normally do it. Actually, not a bad face. I mean, not bad at all. Uh, yeah. So let me see. I think I'm going to pick up my fluffy brush and see if I can get. Okay. Yeah, I probably need to use a brush for this. Just to sit everywhere else. That I didn't put the other powder. Bring a little bit of life back to my face. Okay. Yeah. I will. I kind of like everything. Okay, guys. I'll be back. So, hey, YouTube. This is the um, final look with the Wet n' Wild um, foundation being the focus today. Um, I did go in with the uh, Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And I used the shade Crown of My Canopy. Y'all. This is, this highlighter, for what it costs, look, 
and it really sits pretty on the skin give you a little button note but yeah um that's really all I, I will probably check back in later today and on my lips i am wearing the uh cat suit color but i did top it with a little lip gloss because i don't really um Mm, and I just put the color icon lip gloss. Uh, I don't know if they still sell these. I think these were limited edition, if you can believe that. Um, yeah, I think those were limited edition. And I used both of the powders, the foundation, the concealers, both of the concealers. Um, yeah, so I'm really kind of digging the foundation. Um, it applied really well. I will definitely let you guys know um, how it wears, but keep in mind I do have um, good primers down, um, basically little primers I would use with my high-end foundation. So, yeah, um, the only thing I can do is check back in later today and let you guys know how it's wearing, how it's doing, and everything like that. So, um, I will be back later on today, and I will see you guys on the next turn. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye.